Justin, what do you take out of this campaign overall? Oh, look, we'll get over the bit of disappointment of today first. I mean, it was just a really, really disappointing day for us. Um, but it's been a really good campaign. I don't underestimate the injury to Usman Kawaja and uh, Sean Marsh in that first 10 overs against South Africa. We fell 10 runs short of South Africa without one of our premier batsmen, who's been a really important part of the last six months and this World Cup. And then obviously Sean, he had a break and he broke his arm two days before. So that put a bit of a dampener on our campaign. But overall, it's been really good, hasn't it? We're on top until the last game. Fell 10 runs short and then had a really poor game today. So very disappointing. Does it expose the depth of Australia's talent, though, that we can't back up losing one or two players? Oh, look, I think you took Jason Roy out of out of England's side and it made a big impact. You take the, your best players out of any team, whether it's cricket or AFL or rugby, or it, it's always hard when you lose your best players. So there's plenty of talent in Australian cricket, um, no doubt about that. We're seeing that in the Australian A stuff at the moment. I think we're going to play 24 guys in Australia, two Australian teams leading up to the Ashes. There's plenty of talent there. We just didn't play as well as we should have today. So Justin, when we brought you... in Peter Hanscom, though, he didn't fire. And, you know, yeah, there's Pete... been a big build-up about him. Yeah, Pete came in for one game. He came into a World Cup semi-final, but he helped us win. Um, he played really well in Australia. He helped us win an unbelievable series in India. He helped us win 5-0, and he was really, really unlucky. Then to have to come in to a World Cup having not played any of the games, it's a... Uh, really tough ask on him and it would have been for any of our players so but he's a he's a really good player he's he's uh just didn't go his way today justin and glenn and, and, and marcus failed to really get going for, for the entire tournament i mean how big of an impact did that have you know, through the campaign but then did it sort of come home to roost in the semi-final a bit yeah they both they'll both be really disappointed with the whole um world cup won't they they uh you know, they were working really hard, they were, they were giving it their best shot, they just had one of those sometimes when your confidence is down a bit and it's, uh, it's not something you can just flick a switch and you're, and you're back in firing, you know, we, uh, we picked the team today, we thought it was the best team that's going to be for the World Cup, they've helped us get to this point, um, they've still contributed, they were I think three and four in the fielding rankings, um, they've, take, they've had little moments where they've had an impact, so um, yeah, they'll be disappointed. There's a few guys who'll be a bit disappointed. There's been a lot more positives than um, than negatives, I think. Justin, you mentioned the Australia A game. How quickly, mate, do you turn your attention to, to August 1 right here? Yeah, I've had my heart set on July 14 for probably 12 months. So we got to July 11. Uh, we fell a few days short. So that's, you know, it's a disappoint that's disappointing. We would like to be there in three days' time. Um, we'd rather be in England's dressing room now that, you know, it's always more fun winning than losing, um, but we have to turn to it now. We've, we've known this is going to be unprecedented time in Australian cricket, World Cup and then Ashes. So we'll dust ourselves off, recharge our batteries, probably six or seven guys will be in the Ashes as well. Need to recharge and then start a whole new campaign. Um, we'll look, take some lessons out of this, um, but it's, a, it's another big campaign. Ashes is huge for Australian cricket, isn't it? So And English cricket, so we'll dust ourselves off and be ready for that. Just after the campaign, he's... Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. After. You spoke about a lot of positives. What, what are those positives? Oh, well, the very fact that over the last six months we've um, improved our ranking in one day international cricket. Um, we, we were on top of the table before the last game. Um, some of our players, I think Alex Carey, magnificent. He was the Albert Jacker for us today, didn't he? He, he? We'll talk about that for a long time. He's been magnificent. Mitchell Stark's had a huge campaign. The way Steve and, Steve and David have came back in. I think Aaron Finch's captaincy throughout has been excellent. Um, and Nathan Lyon did a good job coming in. Uh, and, and most of the guys contributed. So uh, there's been... So when you're playing as well as we've been playing for six months now, there's plenty to draw on and move forward with Steve, As Alex. Steve and Dave magnificent campaigns but they haven't faced a red ball in quite some time how do they get up to speed and um, yeah, are there any concerns that August 1 they, you know, they won't be at the top of the game yeah hopefully they get up to speed like they did with the white ball yeah. you know they've, uh, they're both absolute um, professionals they're very talented but they're great players so um, they'll get back into that regardless of the colour of the ball they'll be uh, they're so professional they'll be fine I think do Has you know, Alex Carey do you know done it? will open the batting on August 1? Uh, not yet, I think it's going to be um, some real competition. That's why we want to play the, the two Australian teams. Uh, 
And go back to your question about depth, is that what we know for so long in Australian cricket, there's been such cutthroat competition, and that's increased our depth. So to be able to um, play a game like that, and we won't select the Ashes until the day after that game, um, there's going to be real competition. So there's, um, if I was any of the guys in the Australian team, there's, there's, there's good opportunities for guys opening and batting in the top six and mm. you know and the, the top bowlers as well. Yeah, Has we Alex do Gary that, done that enough game? to... <laughs> Australia v Australia, right? How will you pick that? Have you just settled on a formula there? Is it, is it the old the schoolyard yeah, system? Yeah, we might have, we might have a bit of fun with it. Uh, but we'll wait and see. We've got a pretty good idea. We're getting close to working out who those guys will be and then um, I'm not sure how we're going to pick the team yet. We, But yeah, I'm not sure. Has Alex Carey done enough to put himself into contention as a specialist batsman for the Ashes? Uh, well, he, he played. I think he played one Shield game last year and scored a hundred at the SCG. So, um, but he's a terrific bloke. He, he's a he's he has got a very very bright future. He's the vice captain, having not played. That's an indication of how highly we rate him as a person and a cricketer. He's a terrific player. I mean, he's everything that you want. As a coach, he, he gives it to you. You know, he works hard. He's a fantastic person. He's a very good player. Um, so he's he's got, like I say, he's got a really bright future in the Australian cricket, uh, whatever colour ball that is. Justin, take the wins and losses out of the whole equation. Are you are you proud of the way that the team conducted themselves at this tournament? And do you think Australia won back a lot of respect here? Well, we've been talking about it for 12 months, haven't we, about earning respect back, the way we behave on and off the field. I think the spirit of the World Cup's been brilliant. Uh, and I'd love to see that continue, actually. I've really enjoyed watching the, the spirit of how this World Cup's been played. Um, so, and I think we have, yeah, well, hopefully we have. Um, we can't judge that, we'll just keep behaving well. We talk about cultures, this behaviour and hopefully we're doing the right things on and off the field. And if we do that, we'll do what we set out to do 12 or 14 months ago, I was earning some respect back. Justin, you mentioned how big a loss um, Usman was today. I mean, have you thought about alternate number threes for the Ashes as well? If he's oh, hopefully missing? he'll be OK. I, I think it was a mild um, hamstring strain. Uh, so hopefully he'll be OK. But there's some, there's some, again, like the openers, there's some good contenders. Uh, so we'll work through that, but he, um, he he was a big loss. We picked him, and believe it or not, we picked him specifically for days like today, when it was hard, you lose an early wicket, you want that number three, you test number three, you can score hundreds. Uh, we didn't have him today, but that's that's all part and parcel. We got beaten by a much better team today. They, I've said, a few people were laughing about it, but I've said from day one they're the favourites to win the tournament. They should be. They're a, they're a great cricket team and they were better than us today. We were disappointing, but they were better than us today. So, um, And that's okay. Tell you, you, know, you, you, you want to be winning all the time, but we got yeah. beaten by a better team today. And so are just you on your concerned at all about the fact that Smith and Warner have redeemed themselves on the field in France? Their cricketing is concerned, but there's still huge question marks about what happened in South Africa and that they haven't been addressed and it may come back. Oh, they've back. been addressed. Oh, oh my gosh, they have been addressed what? big time. Uh, well, they've they had 12 month ban for one. Yes, and, but they and haven't within explained our, within, what went within, on. Within our group, it, it's been addressed. So, um, so, yeah, it's been addressed, trust me, it's been addressed. And, um, but you don't think it'll come back to bite them? No, what do you mean? Well, if they suddenly reveal information that happened or other people reveal what happened. Oh, I think there's been a lot said about what happened in South Africa. So, um, but we're, we are honestly, I think, moving in the right direction. Hopefully we're showing that way. The boys have both shown that by their behaviour. It's not just the bad thing, they've been really good ambassadors on and off the field. You know, they've been good people off the, on and off the field and I'm proud of them for that. So, what's happened in the past, I mean, we all make mistakes, they made some mistakes, hopefully they're redeeming themselves. So how excited, what's, how excited yeah, are you over your, your fast bowlers, Justin? Like it yeah, seems like nice you got all them fit. fit. Yeah, it's yeah. nice to have them all fit. I thought Jason backed back the guys up really well. We've got some, um, for the Ashes, we've got um, a number of very good players who are up and running, which is good. Uh, Jai Richardson, who's a very exciting talent, <clears throat> he'll come back into the fold at some stage. So we've got lots of bowling um, talent in Australia. The key is to keep them fit and healthy, and if we do that, we'll always be competitive. Jay, well, what's more, da da what's more dangerous, mate? Um, I know there's a lot of players from England that don't play both formats. But what's more dangerous, an English team that's won a World Cup on a high going to the Ashes, or an English team that's lost a World Cup final, determined to make a point in the Ashes? <laughs> no, time will tell, won't it? It's, they're very different games. England have been, you know, brilliant in the white ball game. They've been pretty good in the Test cricket, but 
uh, time, time will tell with it. Just one more, Dale. Um, in terms of the one-day setup, England had this four-year plan has got them to the final. Do you need to look at that now? Do you start to peel it back and start again for the next World Cup and maybe say to a couple of players, OK, you're not part of the next cycle? Uh, yeah, it's a good question. I think th the big turnabout, I think, in our fortunes over the last six months is that we got really clear what, with what our plan was, the way we are going to play until this World Cup. And I mentioned the press conference the other day that, that that's one of the things that David Willey told me that they almost set four years ago. This is how we're going to the team we're gonna, or the squad we're going to stick with. They obviously made a few little changes along the way, but um, you build up for that. But you know we've got lots of other really good competitions and goals to achieve with white ball cricket, T20 cricket. There's a World Cup coming up, and obviously Test cricket. So we've, we're coming from a certain level and we're we're making some improvements, but. We've still got plenty of improvements to make.